All right, here we are again at the 1100 range. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mechabellum Ladder Climb. Um, average Joe here, just playing the game, trying my best. Uh, sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Uh, sometimes people just surrender before we even know what's going to happen, because I guess they get sad that they started not so good. Quick Supply. Quick Supply is always interesting. Um, basically, it's the four rounds of Supply Specialist, if you think about it that way. I actually really like it with the Crawler build. Uh, you can go into the Tarantulas a lot heavier. I'm not sure I get much value out of the plus 200. This is not a good... Uh, I kind of like the idea of just all inning on one side. I always like doing that with my tarantulas for some reason. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a bad guy. I'm the hero, the anti-hero, what have you. But I like the idea of a couple crawlers. I usually like to leave a little gap just in case I want to shove something in between. Like in the future, like a steel ball because they put a flamethrower there. Um... But what I love doing is this <laughs> mechanical rage and just allow us to be uh, very, very forthright, I guess you could say, with the number of crawlers that we have and the fact that our crawlers are going to be better than their crawlers. Um, then we can get mechanical rage on the uh, tarantulas so they can keep up a little bit better. Let's see, he went for the arc lights as expected. Oh, he has the skin on them, the gilded, nice. So that should be fine on this side. Again, as long as the tarantulas are still standing, we should be chilling. And even these guys, even into the arc lights, we are doing okay. So we just need something to get up there with them, with our crawl, or with our crawlers and just take some of that fire off of them so like a rhino is really what we're looking for right now probably if not a steel ball this is gonna not work out i don't think because we're gonna lose our tower and then they're gonna fight and then we're gonna get melted instead of like i was actually hoping he would kill my tower and then when they arrived we would kill their tower and then turn and kill them unlucky timing the fact that we're a quick supply specialist makes that really extra poopy for us rank one typhoons are going to make this even worse so we need to get something now yeah it's gonna have to be a rhino that we will then put uh armor on in a minute and we do have the rapid flank. I don't know if we actually need it though. I don't know if trying to break through early makes sense because they probably have a bunch of crawlers at this, or uh, not crawlers, but uh, arc lights at this point. What we could do to be extra cheeky as well is get a squad of storm callers or a sniper on the very front line just to take out his tower. Um, nothing against that. I don't think he wants to go Stormcallers here. I actually really disagree with, like I know he's going for like AOE, but he doesn't even have the flames for them. Maybe, maybe if he gets the electromagnetic pulse, I don't know, photon coating. buddy's running out of time he did get more he thought i was going to deploy something on the flank and i probably will but it'll be a rhino so he missed with his missiles his missiles will do a good job now of course too bad our rhino stayed there to hang out come on tarantulas Again, if I had uh, Mechanical Rage on them, they might close distance faster and shoot faster and be the DPS gods that we need them to be. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> we are not getting good tower 
uh, RNG. All right, now he's going to have Typhoons. Again, Typhoons are going to be mad lads. Uh, Sabretooth is really good for anti-missiles, but... Yeah, I guess they're, they're really not my build, though. I think I need some anti-air. Single target. Unlocking the Sabretooth alone has some value here. Even if they are, like, borderline too slow to be effective at anything. I could give them the anti-missile tech. Which I think would make sense at one point. I don't know... How fast are you? 8 meters per second? Like... Yeah. Again, armor enhancement. Rhino. And then here. And that should pull in all this crap. And then... Yeah, throw in a bunch of crawlers here. The missiles arriving might not work out so well for us, but... Everything else I think should be fine. He did go for double shot tanks, okay. That's a bit spooky. 6,000 damage, double shots are really good. The fact that they were able to just delete my, uh, my boy with that makes... Makes it official. Now it's time to go Stormcallers. And if not, we just lose right here. Because this is going to be a very ouchy uh, round, unfortunately. This couple tanks here are doing really great for us. But otherwise, everything is, is very bad. Great job with these Sabertooths, I have to admit, though. Um, I thought I would have enough ground troops to kind of get in the way of the Sabertooths. I was wrong. I mean, I look, I love this, but it's just not what I need right now. I need like a wasp swarm. Wasps are bad. I should have taken the rhinos after all, actually. God damn. Um, I need storm callers. I need DPS, damage per second. And the damage per second comes with storm callers. Call in one, two squads of them. Honestly, like, I need them to launch missiles, like, in the first moment. It's... This feels kind of insane, but it is. It is what it is, Jimmy. And then I think I need a squad of crawlers, and they need to be here. Because then they'll get shot by these tanks. Um... It's only a hundred for their double shot. No wonder he picked it. Uh, health or damage? Health, because it's a better scaler, I guess. These air units might be able to hide. I don't know. I'm going to take the loan, because I really think I need to win this round. Okay, missiles inbound. He can buy anti-missile tech from a couple different things, which would be good for him. Increase attack by 100%. He bought the air units as well. I don't even think I have anti-air without... Because my, my air units died, right? So this is just a terrible round for me. I just got my butt kicked. I don't... Uh... Yeah, Typhoons. If I had looked at the Typhoons, I would not have upgraded the Crawlers. I should have just got two... Uh... Tarantulas. I just played a bad game. I mean, I'm still in it, but, like, I don't think it says much. Electromagnetic or smoke? I think it has to be electromagnetic. And then... I 
I still don't have anti-air, right? Like, without... A unit? Again, like, a wraith with armor can mess up the typhoon target priority. I don't think it's actually, like, a solution here. Um, I have to take another loan and buy armor on it. I might even be able to deploy it here and just take a bunch of their shots. And then, I don't know, for the sake of argument, give me a sniper on the corner. He's gonna smoke screen. That, I mean, that's good. He thought I was gonna smoke screen. I just disabled his shield. And again, with armor, see all these things here? Typhoons, Mustangs, all of it. It's all shooting uh, it instead. And their counter to armor is their Sabertooth. And the Sabertooths are devastating because they have self-repair on them. But at least right now, I countered one unit. I still lose decisively, but you know, it was kind of cool while it lasted, I guess. Cool.